I'll talk to you about trend following. I've already alluded a little bit. That's my style. In my businesses that I've been in, I've been in the phone business, I've been in publishing, I've been involved in TV business, I've been involved in numerous business. But what I'm always looking for are trends, yeah? I'm looking for trends, what's going on in the world, yeah? Um, there's a couple of investments I've made lately. One of them um, was in casinos in Macau. As the Chinese get more uh, wealthy, they like to gamble, and basically that's been a very, very um, good way. Another business I made a lot of money in is pawnbroking um, and cash loans, cash for gold and um, small loans, which was a couple of companies in, in the States because the bank stopped lending. Um, there's two things you need in that business. You want gold prices to be high and you want banks not to be lending. And that's another business that did very well. Um, so let's talk about trend following. This basically may sound simple, but don't reject it because it's simple. And I know humans have a problem, and especially men. Um, they think because something's more complicated, that it's, uh, if it's too simple, you know, can't be true. But the truth is the simple things that normally in business make the most money, and certainly in trading make the most money, yeah? How many ideas have you seen and you think, my God, that's so simple, why didn't I think about it? And someone's made a lot of money. Then you can get into a complicated business where you need hundreds of staff, everything's gotta be right, you know, and you're setting yourself up for failure already. So but I say, don't confuse simple um, with easy or risk-free. There's obviously, there's always a risk in what we do, but we can manage that. Trend following works on any freely traded market worldwide. It can currencies, commodities, bonds, shares. Yes, it doesn't matter what market we're looking at. The only thing you've got to watch is smaller companies or markets that are not liquid, uh, that don't trade very often. They don't really work very well for trend following, but there's plenty that we can trade. It's ideal for end of day, so um, if you've got another job or another business and you don't want to be watching a screen all day, trend following is perfect because a trend doesn't start in the morning ends in, in the afternoon. Trends normally build up and can last months and sometimes years. And I'll show you some examples. You don't need real-time data. You don't need expensive software, which is great. Um, you say we can make money from up and down. You know, a lot of time when people think trends, they always think, oh, a trend's got to be up. Or no, a trend can be down as well. There could be something that's in decline. You know, the last um, year or so, I've made some very good money from dying businesses. Uh, there's a couple of businesses in the UK. One's called Dixon's and one's called HMV. One is traditionally a PC retailer and HMV is a bookseller and uh, CDs. How many people do you know that go to buy books in bookshops and CDs? Um, listen, that trend is down and I'll show you the charts on those a little bit in a moment. So we can make money by a dying business as well as a business that's doing well. So a lot of time when people think, oh, trends, they just think of uptrends. Now uptrends are great and you know, the majority of the time we do trade uptrends, but we can make money from a trend going down as well. And you know, as I say, from a business which is in decline. Yeah, so uh, we can do very well from that as well. You can start trend trading with small starting bank and spread trading account. Yeah, you don't need a lot of money. Start small, you can build up. You don't need to know much, if anything, about the fundamentals of the market. You know, I'll show you an example in a moment, um, which will just bring that to light. Let the trend be your friend. You've probably heard that. You know, and the truth is, you know, trends are great because um, they can just carry on. You know, trend can carry on. At some stage or the other, trend is going to end. You know, no trend will last forever, and that's fine. You know, if the trend then turns, we can look to make money on the downside, or we'll find something else to trade. I only need two or three good trends a year. Listen, I only need one or two good trends a year, and I can make a lot of money. Yeah, I don't need hundreds of good trends. And as I say, you know, we can be short, medium, and long-term trends. So this is the example I want to tell, talk to you about Apple. Right? Most of you know Apple Computer. You know what they sell. But imagine if you didn't. Imagine if you were locked in this room. I hadn't. You didn't know what Apple did. Well, just by looking at the chart, what can you tell me? What's going on? Is this business doing badly? Does this business make bad products? Is this business not selling products? Hmm, I think this business is doing okay. And I'll show you basically how with simple charts and simple uh, moving averages, um, this is a stock I've owned a couple of years now. See what I mean by trend? So Apple is doing well, the trend's doing well. I don't need to know about the products. I can assume that by the price, it's steadily going up, that the business is doing okay. And the business is doing well. 
gold, you know, another example. You know, it doesn't matter what the Financial Times says. It doesn't matter that people say, oh, gold is the barbaric metal. Uh, you know, what do you want to buy gold for? The amount of people that told me that. Um, I started buying gold back in 2002, 2003. Um, and I started buying a lot of commodities. I started getting interested in commodities at that time. Um, and the amount of people that said, what are you doing buying gold? Um, well, you know, you see what the trend on gold is. And this is another stock which, you know, I've made an awful lot of money. Um, I've made around 450% on this in the last 10 years. British American Tobacco. Now, if you read the newspapers, and okay, not as much now, but certainly when I first started getting into this trend, um, if you read about tobacco, it's, well, smokers are giving up. Litigation, yeah? Everything that could be going wrong for tobacco was going wrong for tobacco, but the price was going up. Now, if you know what the truth is about tobacco, one, there are still plenty of people that smoke. For every smoker they lose in the UK or the US, you know what? They pick one up in Malaysia or the Far East or somewhere else, yeah? So don't always believe the news story. Now, do you know that stock I told you about Dixon's Retail? Um, this is the company. What can we say about Dixon's? Is it doing well? No, I don't think so. But remember, we can make money by going short, yeah? We can basically sell a, com a stock we don't own and then buy it back at a lower price. And another stock in the similar sector, HMV Group. Okay, same sort of thing, basically gone from two pounds 50 down to 25 pence. Um, and that's over you know, the last four or five years. Is that business doing well? I don't think so. That's not Apple, is it? Yeah, it says Apple upside down. Dilbert's a great little cartoon, um, and here's one of Dilbert's cartoon. I'm sitting in my box checking my stocks. I'm using my willpower to resist every 10 seconds. I'm sitting in my box checking my stocks. Don't check your share prices every 10 seconds. Yeah, you'll make more mistakes, and you'll get it wrong more often than you'll get it right. And as you remember what I said about the lady checking a Blackberry every five minutes? Don't do it. Yeah, you'll make more errors. A lot of these bookmakers and financial brokers, they're all coming out with apps now on the iPhone and BlackBerry because they want you to trade. They want you to overtrade. The more you trade, the more you lose. Okay, and that's all my studies have shown that. Back to the trend trader. So we'll let winning trades run for weeks, months, even years. We're not bothered about daily news, daily prices, movements. Yeah, you know, if you look at Apple, you saw um, there was plenty of times where it went down. You know, there was claims that Steve Jobs had died and all sorts of things. But listen, the trend was still up. We don't try to pick the top, we don't try to pick the bottom. Listen, anyone that says they can pick tops and bottoms, they're liars, yeah? They say, oh, we got out the top, we got out the bottom. These are all these software vendors that sell stuff on the internet. Truth is, we don't need to, and I don't think anybody can pick tops and bottoms. We make the money out of the bit in the middle. We use wider stops than a day trader. Why? Because we've got to allow for those noise, yeah, for the intraday moves. We use charts, moving averages, longer term trend lines. You need patience and discipline. You know, a lot of the time there'll be nothing to do. And I know it might sound hard doing nothing, but people, especially in this business, they want to always be doing something. They want to be busy, yeah? They think being busy is productive. There's a difference between being busy and productive and busy and, you know, just for the sake of it, yeah? So be very careful. 